Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Frigid Knight here, as always. Continuing on here with Duncan Rafa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Is this one? Yep. Okay. So Kyoko told us to look at in the storeroom and the back of the boys' um, restroom over here. It's just a normal storage plot, as far as I can tell. So Kyoko told me about. It. Could it really be hidden here? Yeah, something about that wall seems odd. She said it was way in the back of the storage closet. But I mean, seriously? I think they placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. Suddenly, as if I were being yanked in. Gashunk! It seems the time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Ba bump I had fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? Turned out... The back wall was like a revolving door and had made my way to the, all, to the other side, just like Kyoko had said. Correct. In the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. Way at the back of that closet, there's a secret room. So this is the secret room. What's in here? Notice one thing that's not in here security cameras. It's a bunch of files and what look like volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hope's Peak Academy Student Registry? It's the only thing in here not covered in dust. Has someone looked at it recently? I slipped the file into my hand. Before I had a chance to look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file and it turned my attention to it. What's this? You must not leave? That's kind of weird. I could understand if it said, like, I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My head feels funny. A strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave seen them somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I... I... What's with the luchador? A strange sound rang out through my head. I felt like I was shaking my brain back and forth. And it felt more like I was shaking my... It felt like it was shaking my brain back and forth. And then darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what it started it. It's all over. With that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. Ow! Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull throbbing pain in my head proved that much, at least. It's just a normal desk with normal drawers. Bookshelf. Huh? Empty? Gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? What does this mean? My brain refused to do any more work. Consistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room, get some rest. Body was heavy with pain, mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back toward my room. Somehow I made it back to the first floor of the school. The farther I walked, the more it felt. It was getting blurry. 
you can see in front of me, I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there after that. So from a vast distance I heard a sound. It was faint but undeniable. That sound is coming from the gym. As I desperately held, held my shaky frame toward the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? It can't be nothing. Here? In the gym? Sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sounds coming from inside me while it intensified that much more. They pulled me into a rage to battle between anything humanly possible. No, one side's not human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I got to move, or even, or even breathe. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal. What deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? What am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? Then could it be? Mastermind spy is. Generation Legends stand tall galactic hero. The end. Killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Hifumi. <clears throat> then she got executed. No, I think she got isekai That brings us up to now. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. Uh, only a third of the number of people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. Mm. That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura's the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Koto, are you okay? Uh, you know, I'm fine. I keep bringing it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? What do you mean, in that case? Cause, I mean... Well, because look how everyone, how scary everyone looks. It's got to be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you fill your belly, I'm sure you're all cheer up. So let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. What? That's like a deep impact style, medium impact, extinction level event combination of foods. Huh? <laughs> what? Those are both breakfast time top sellers. <laughs> Still, the two can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right. This is the class trial that's over. A new area should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have alter ego. We don't have to give it and give in to despair just yet. She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it! 
Yeah, yeah, think happy thoughts, not deathly thoughts. You know? Like when we're gonna get out of here, right? For serious. This is all over. I think I ought to get me born for serious. Or I mean, born as someone serious. Well... Hey, are you okay? That sounds like some uh, something someone who's about to die would say. Hmm. Uh, not necessarily. Uh... So, those that are familiar with the Major Arcana of the Tarot deck uh, know that the Major Arcana in order represent a journey of sorts. Uh, that journey could be regarded as sort of a journey through life, could also be regarded as sort of something like the hero's journey. Um, now, it's worth noting is about halfway through that, well, a little more than halfway through them, is Arcanum number 13, Death. But death in the case in that particular case death does not refer to a it does not refer to actually dying rather it's more of a threshold that one passes where once you've kind of gone past it you can't exactly go back and so as a result it can refer to something of a metaphorical death like say going from being one well it could be sort of like changing who you are, so to speak. It could also mean uh, the end of one stage of your life, like, say, perhaps graduating high school or college. So, in that particular sense, um, when someone is going through, has gone through, or rather, well, yeah, when someone is going through, or rather gone through an event that could be represented with that particular uh, major arcana, that itself could be thought of as beaten, having been reborn. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there ain't getting there aren't gonna be any more murders. Um. Huh? What makes you so sure? According to the spirits, I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me from the ether, there's no doubt about it. However, how accurate is your fortune telling anyway? How about that? I usually hit twenty or thirty percent on a good day. Hmm. That seems really low. Yeah, especially compared to Chihaya Mifune from Persona Five. It's not like some occult mystery. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like it's ESP or whatever. Of course, I'm only gonna get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap. <laughs> <laughs> I told you my fortune telling is it like some is it like some occult thing? Well, um, fortune telling isn't occult. You got it all wrong. Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. To put it in the same category as cattle mutilation, what? Cattle mutilation. I think he's referring to like, uh, you know, seeing the future via uh, entrails. Huh? Cattle. What? So. Uh, or maybe that. He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows to dissect them as part of their research. Actually. Though you're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. Hmm. It'll happen one day when I went to go get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. He claimed the patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But before long, the, end is nigh. the sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then, still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. The patty was probably 100% beef, bruh. Something bro. like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. You can't trick me. So I strode back to the burger place and got up to the major and got up in the major's grill. They totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed the ground pork with it. How about that? Wait, what? Now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. I kind of got lost halfway through. Can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. I stink of. How dare you! Well, you do stink, though. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine? Um, 
Anyway, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah. Me either. I mean, I never would. Of course. Me either. Indeed. Mirage. It goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. I felt like the, those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. But... Well. To be honest, I wish Bianca and Toko were here for, we were here for this too. But... But they're so hard to deal with, they only think about themselves. Uh. Yeah, we're better off without them, I say. That was enough to prove... We were united for the time being, but within that uh, bond hid weakness and fragility. All star apologies. Huh. So I was able to recognize Ao mm, Hina, but I was able to recognize Aoi. Where's the other? Chihiro, I think? I was thinking it'd be someone alive. Then again, there's Alter Ego, so... We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast at the dining hall. We had to find out what had, to what had opened up, what was waiting for us. Let's see. Huh. Now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it! What's with the floors? Before they were tiled, now they're metal grates. Headmaster. Music. Doesn't appear to be any wind. Wait a second. There are. But how come these ones don't have metal plates over them? That's. Oh, wait, those aren't really windows to the outside, are they? Let's see, hello, Monokuma from the school. Oh. From the school store. I'm very kind to gather up your coins to come play with me. Or I might die of loneliness. Let's see, 
you need an ultimate, can't destroy this plate. You stay in ultimate super power, ooh, superhero powers. So one day I said, ooh, mono, ooh, I said mono coming in class. I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but it's like a ton of locked rooms up here. I have a hunch that whatever the big revelation is going to be, it's probably going to be either in the data room or the headmaster room, or uh, that one room with Monokuma's face marking it. Small concert hall. Surveillance so camera. Just don't think I'll ever get used to it. I mean, who could get used to being watched twenty four seven? See one of the monitors. Monokuma appears on. Being scared of what? Being scared of it won't do any good. But I'm just going to completely clear out. This a grand piano? It seems really old, but it, hmm, I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around here to play it, it's totally useless. Hey. No, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So about the secret room in the boy's bathroom. Ah. Well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind and didn't have any time to react, so they didn't see who it was. Plus, they're wearing a luchador mask, so there's that. When I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those That's were. Fine. It's okay, I already saw what I needed to in there. I... I half suspected the mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. I must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, why did you need to go and see it? I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room, that must mean there's some unknown clue in there that could have revealed the mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was going to get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing, though, right? I'm a your boy. What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. But let me ask you something. Mm, let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave? Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it's clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then. So now, it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hmm. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding Am something. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? That's... What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well... Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Is that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but... It's nothing worse than expressing mm, doubt about your friend when mm, you don't have evidence for it.
probably not so much it, and I wouldn't say it's expressing doubt really because Sakura actually is the kind of person that when when she's made up her mind she when she's made up her mind about something her mind is made up so I haven't found any conclusive evidence yet if I talk about it now it could just make things that much worse friends shouldn't keep secrets but there's nothing worse than expressing okay fine then don't tell her sorry I can't tell you not yet correct so that was so that's your answer however but do you think that's fair I'm happy to hear what I had to say but I'm unwilling to share I'm sorry I really am that's fine that's fine Goodbye. Those as her party words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I've made her mad. Said the room the smell of medicine was oppressive, so this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. It's a remarkably big shelf, but it's stocked with all kinds of medicines. Oh, listen! No, listen, Makoto, listen! Take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me! Okay, Hina, just chill out. There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine... Okay. And what? We even have... Um, Proteinzyme uh, X? I'm with Bakoda on that one. Hey. High quality protein drink. It's not mm, it's nothing like that cheap swell in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Oh yeah? This is amazing! It's a gold mine! Oh my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up mm, uh, time to load up some more prayers then. Gold mine, huh? Surveillance camera, I just don't think I'm going to do anything right now. Okay, so all three are treated as just one thing to investigate. He and Sarka seem to be lost in a deep but friendly conversation. You can find out what's going on with Sakura, the mastermind, but I can't do it while she's with hey, Hina. Huh? You need something? Uh, no, it's nothing. Are you sure? Okay, then. It's probably gonna say the same with Sakura. Let's see. That's it, Bokoto. Did you need something? So then. You really fell okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. <gasps> hmm. This is the office. But of course there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. Okay, so that's the big revelation right there. It's far on the desk. Smart makes things feel that much weirder. part is that every single one of them seems to have a Monokuma coin.
Oh, there's a picture on the floor. It's a picture. What? Celeste Hifumi and Sayaka? The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. Passing without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this is there's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect a normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean anyone in the picture knew each other before they got here? Including Sayaka? No, there's no way. Kuma Monokuma did it. it. Must be fake. <laughs> no! You are fake! Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. What <laughs> fooled you, Plots? Well, now you're a middle schooler. You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then you're saying this picture's real? Hey, um. If there was such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. But not third. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it a fake? Hmm. Oh, Makoto. You're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture's real. More or less. No more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? <coughs> it's really true. It's really real? If that's true, if that's the case. Put on the door says headmaster's room. Headmaster's room. There must be something worthwhile in there. Why aren't the doors locked? Dang it. No good, the door's locked. I guess we won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the data center. But what's behind the door is a total mystery. We're taking a good look at things around here. There's a lot to think about. For now, I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Hmm. So, is this everyone? Well, then. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor, not the budget inch. In other words, just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That's to be expected, though. Yeah. There's a big shelf of the chem lab on the fourth floor that had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there's an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. Uh, I think you know you're probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Mm. Oh, but it's not all the good stuff, though. There's medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um, there's also um, a bunch of different poisons. Poison? Mm. They're all labeled clearly, though, so it'd be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we'd better make sure we're careful around there. Um, and we probably shouldn't tell Bianca or Toku about the poison, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well, well, just in case, you know what I'm, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, just in case? Yeah, I think you're right. However... It's Biakia. I think he found before he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open, that's absolutely the work of the mastermind. Hmm. I found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. Data center and headmaster's room. Ah. The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the kind of place where you'd find some clues. Could somehow unlock the door and get inside. What? Who cares about a stupid lock? 
There should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one, meas one measly door. What was that? <laughs> no, please, continue. Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? Perfect hips in town? Is that what you said? <laughs> well, no, I didn't. Then what did you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. Knocking <laughs> <laughs> down your headmaster's door? What kind of war education you tried to start here? That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives in a single bear claw? Well, hopefully very little, because they do make some rather tasty pastries, don't they? Yo, yeah, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. Oh, I'm not mad. You're totally mad. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but I figured I'd go around having those thoughts. I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Seriously? Bringing down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a new rule. Ooh, that's a rule now, you jerks. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Is he gone? Ooh, man, I skipped for my life. Ooh, ooh, man. I skipped for my life. I'm sure he's gonna kill me for serious. And if you'd go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. But now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. He said breaking down the door, right? Okay, break into locked rooms. So, at minimum, if they manage to find the key... That would mean that it would not violate the school rules. Not sure about picking the lock either. Because he's. Monokuma stated that the locks on the dorm room, on well, the doors for the dorms, those are. those can't be picked. But the headmaster, oh, the headmaster's room, not so much. I don't think that's the case there. Um, Kyoko, she's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, Makoto, does Kyoko seem upset to you? Right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Uh, this is bad. Hmm. So, has everyone said what they need to say? Hmm. I think so. Looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh, I've been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? Because my dad was smoking in bed. That's... No, I have something I'd like to report. So, you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture almost just like that one. Another one? But this time, the picture was, the picture was of Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. Huh? And you're all smiling. In the classroom, the picture didn't have any metal, any metal covering the windows. So the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that had Celeste, if you mean Sakaya. But it's Sayaka. But how can that. How can that. Conspiracy! But Akuma must have faked it. But, but if the picture is real, then everyone who, everyone who is in it. It would have to be. Uh, there would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? what? Can't be, it's fake! But Monokuma said it was real. Maybe we could just write that off as a lie, but. So then. 
Can you trust Monoku's word over the people who have died? Huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refuse to do the same. Why is she smirking, though? If that's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. She doesn't... Her character sprite there doesn't really make it look like she's actually angry, though. More like... She, I mean, it looks more like she's caught on to something. Hey, come on. Come on, guys. Stop fighting all your good lucks. Kind of float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. You might be right, but still... Are you still so conflicted? What? Looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Byakuya? You all have the same second look on your faces. You're all so ugly before. You shouldn't let them sink any lower. Hmm. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? Say. Why are you apologizing? Leave us alone. You're not a part of this. That's right. That's not true. Your problems aren't mine. We are and always will be completely separate. But, that's true enough. So what I was causing your face to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happened to discover to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did you finally just say something useful? Hey. Biaki, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath, what else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Mm. A mixed bath? Okay. A mixed bath! If Alter, Ego, if Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. got to the dressing room. Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here what Alter Ego has to say too? Hey, what's your problem? I already heard with Master. <laughs> with Master. You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up, stop bothering me. How about that? Get out of the way, we have to talk to Alter Ego. Oh, wow. No, I made Master promise. A promise? Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you, his dog? <laughs> yeah, boy, she really... <laughs> she really needs a psychiatrist. If it's what Master wants, I'll not do anything he asks. Yeah. We just love being mistreated. Mm -hmm. Well, fine, if you really want me to go, by all means. <laughs> Wait, since when did she switch to Genocide Jill by sneezing? Hey guys, what's going on? Um, we'd like you to move. Sure thing, just kneel before we get back. First Omega Mastic is now Super Sadist! There's no in between with her, is there? Um, Toko Susie, I'm asking you nice to let us use the laptop. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to knee on the bag. How about that? Come on, Moko, give me the old one two combo. One drop two D's, two beseech. Well, you act like you're not a part of this. I was as desperate as I felt, finally did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, begging you, can you please just let us use the laptop? Oh, I'm on fire! It's such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All the pent up anger at Master for a reason is evaporating. So even you realize? So even you realize it's abuse? Hey, that should be enough, right? Hurry up and let's talk to our alter ego. <laughs> okay. You really can. Everyone, come closer. I, I already told Biakia, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on his laptop. I'm sorry to have, I'm sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um... Ooh, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way, resting on the keyboard, and my hands had started to shake. Just a second. 
Oof. A single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded and moved to let her take over. So then. Here we go. Kyoko began, began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure, I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. The one particularly important oh, fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. Twice like the student, you know, students of Hope's Peak Academy created communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. It was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? Well, it's more the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. Huh? What? Wait, hold on! Then the reason we've been imprisoned here... That wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever? No way! It was the school itself? <gasps> that doesn't make any sense! Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. But you should hear the rest. That's right. Ugh. Hang on.
Sorry about the interruption there. It seems like the reason they devised this plan is because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, yeah. Hope's Peak Academy was forced, to, was forced to discontinue its role as a school and closed down. I see. I see. Things are starting, finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. And to sequester the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um, but why would anyone, well, why would the Hope's Peak Administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey. What could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoka had typed their questions into the Oom computer, and the answer we got was Sorry, I don't know. That information is ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally, I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. That's all he said. Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? Indeed. It appears so. Disappointing. Oh, wait. No. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so, than they had so far. But did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that, that I still don't know. But I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So the same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. Seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. The headmaster? The headmaster is here in the school? Okay. Then that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, one of who's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which means the real headmat which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. It's serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I I'll find a way. Huh? I No matter what it takes, I'll find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um Kyoko, what's going on? I can't explain why. Just know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure when she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> Then it really is all over. Hey. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um. Um, well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um. I haven't seen Celestia Fumir Taka since yesterday. A heavy sounds fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Uh, what? Um. See, certainly knew that was a possibility, but. Okay, then. What really happened? Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway. Well then, well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. then maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. Altiga did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... But I feel kind of sorry for him. But... I feel sorry, but he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it did, but that's what a computer program is designed to do. Don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Hey, come on. It's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? 
but you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. Well, two years a human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think. Maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> it's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? How about that? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So... Indeed. So anyway... Don't... So anyway, that... It's, it's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from what... Uh, from I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway, there's more... Uh, there's no, <coughs> anyway, there's nothing more Alter Eager can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? I'm not so sure it's completely over. There was that data uh, that data center. It's locked, but if we can get in there. No, but Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um Yeah, good idea. What's the Hope's Peak staff thinking? What? Why are they making us kill each other? I'm not so sure about that because the whole thing about you know, in that plan of sorts in the files there's nothing about a mutual killing game or anything like that only living out the rest of their lives Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything well. yeah he said it was the biggest most awful most hopeless event in human history right it must have been a huge incident whatever it was but did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um... I don't remember anything... I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? I haven't really watched the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. And if nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to this school. What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all in the news. At least one of us would remember that. Then maybe they covered it up. That explains why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covered up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with their government? How taxes pay their salaries? They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe, but right now there's only one path open up to each so... us. We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Right. We have to find him, and they can tell us everything. No matter what. As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Mm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Uh, um. Oh yeah, good idea. Yep. Good night. Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... Well, no, I'm, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm just gonna be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um, Good call. As we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away. That's pounding with anger. You're not still mad about that whole bug to the headmaster's room thing, are you? Oh, that little matter doesn't matter. It doesn't matter even a little. I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying a decent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. It's building. It feels building. Now I'm really angry. My head's about to boil over with rage. Please. Don't be so angry. Let me help you with setting your chakra. Catch this on the walls of your brain, okay? What do you do something to me? I do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Fang for a Thing. Be careful, he just shared the incantation of devastation. Huh. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Ugh, I see. What's he talking about? Probably has something to do with what Byakuya did, because he was the only one not there. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, 
Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't miss the best box by. Correct. Yeah. Well, either it was either what Biakia was doing while everyone else was chatting with Alter Ego, or it was with about what Sakura did, and it was mainly directed at her. Hey. So what does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Mm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make you feel better that way. Uh, um, I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone head back to their rooms. The crew's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we've learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my head. The mysteries of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did because of the tragedy which had happened a year before. Apparently the headmaster's the one behind it all. The mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried. I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Take a, let's talk a bit about where I was before I came and became a bear. At first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shroop. She was like, Oh, the company's been trying to push this forever. It's a really incredible offer. And then she laid out the, all the details. It turned out it wasn't a tiger problem like I'd hoped, but with a popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I don't want to be one myself. Last time I'd come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She's like, You think you can be a tiger pawn on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear and instead. That's the secret origin story of Monokuma. I swear, a lot of these monologues that he gives during the Monokuma theater just make no sense. Then again, Junko did step on him. Of course, she's made into a pincushion. First things first, you need to head to the dining hall. Entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. What are you staring at? Oh, Toko? What's your problem? What do you think? You eyes have watched by looking at me? Find the <laughs> Don't look at me! I think he's just supposed to see you at the breakfast meeting, is all. Indeed, it's become quite a while since he joined us. Um... Yeah, why'd you change your mind? Bianca said he <laughs> likes to he likes to have some meat on her bones, so I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat it till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. Yeah. I would do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, uh, she said she'd come by later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I said it, she wanted me to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. Just you're dirty, Makoto! Dirty! Why is it dirty Dirtlandia? I don't understand. <laughs> You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. What Just shut up already, Hina. You've been running your filthy mouth like that man, all, like that all morning. <laughs> filthy? Me? You don't <laughs> make me repeat myself. She blushing like that. I'm not filthy. There's no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Shut up. I had that lusty party of yours. One after the night go for the illicit club meetings. Hey, knock it off. I can't do dirty stuff like that. 
Yeah, boy. Please. Stop it. You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? I swear to you, you can't be that big, fat, chunk type. Toko, the more you talk, the more issues I seem to find out about. Okay, so that romance novel she did, by any chance, was it something akin to Fifty Shades of Grey? So you'd rather have your black eye the oh, so would you rather have your black eye the left or the right? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, come on. Let's leave Toko alone. She's got a little funny from all her pent up frustration. You know? <laughs> anyway, you and Kyoki need to make up over it, you know. Yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible, but with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. But for everything anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Ooh. Um, Sakura, what is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Uh, now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura yet? Under Sakura's heart? <laughs> I really hate Makoto. I don't care who they are as long as they've got the bright equipment. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transferred to Wild Beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia. Why is this happening to me? Cody, we're going to talk about talk until tomorrow. I'd like to get some rest today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Oh, well, you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I've just had minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that... It must be because of that battle. Um... But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it! That's true. Protein's good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You guys, like, worship protein. It's like your god or something. Okay. Well, Kodo, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. You know? Well, for now, let's eat. You eat? I'm kind of nervous. Huh? Huh? How come? What's your problem? So, don't usually you eat for other people. Ever <laughs> since I was a kid, I didn't eat by myself. What the heck? What about your family? <laughs> Well, yeah, I just look at my dad and my mom and... Mm hmm? Did huh? you say mom twice? You had two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how things were. Yeah. This is like a serious issue. Uh. I just never plugging was legal in Japan. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. <laughs> how dare you speak to me with that <laughs> disgusting mouth of yours? Oh. Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. Pretty visible situation, man. <laughs> I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. I have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. But in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura accuse her of something. Guess he won't be able to spend any free time with her. Guess you should press the doorbell. It's you. So you can't be talking about tomorrow. But now I need to rest.
No, wait. What the heck did I just get? Peak percentages are way off. Designed, bra designed to slip over your hands. Your slogan, raise your hands, raise your spirits. Porcelain doll, due to the exquisite craftsmanship of the doll and its clothing, many people still collect and prize them to this very day. Let's see, a rock taken from the sea of train floated the moon by the astronauts on Apollo 11. Its, comp its composition is apparently unusual for where it was found. It's the newest, most popular portable game system. It has a high def touchscreen, can also play music and videos, making for the perfect all in one media machine. Thin edible film made from search. It's kind of used as a candy wrapper, but also helps with cover for taste of bitter medicine. Let's see, Fumi created this in a costume at the, in at the school, but the quality is so high it's hard to imagine it was made solely with materials in school.
Push them doesn't help. Stack them doesn't help. What the heck is up with, the, with those things? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm talking about the metal plates coming up all the windows. Uh. Ah, I know. We should try grabbing the top and yanking down on it. We should have talked to Hina for, uh, for a while. You got it. Try to do some stretches with me. Followed Hina's lead and did some elaborate stretching. She might appreciate it. Yeah, what the heck? Might as well try it. It's worth a try. Now, so I've got a chat message from over on Kick. Eh. Ah. There. Uh, hello, dude. You seem pretty cool content. That's why I followed you. I'd love to make friends to make friends to be a long time fan. If you wish, come and check me on Discord. Sure, I'll add you. Uh, do that after the stream, though. Hey, try to keep interruptions to a minimum. She liked it. Is something wrong, Hina? I wish my limit. I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. I gotta get under the sun and do some laps. Run a marathon. I wanna do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? I can't do anything here. I can't move around. I'm gonna die like a bunny rabbit. But, but I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. Whatever, I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? I think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know. Why else would I have joined six sports teams in school? Six? That's right. Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? She got to her main sport for brain out of juice. I think it's gotta be swimming. Your main sport is swimming, right? Yeah, you got it. I, I don't even care what stroke it is, just get me to pull into the blue sky. Is it hard to do that many sports even for you? Well... If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. But I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge? I mean... What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you've got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Kina was so amazing was how hard she could, f she could fight and struggle. Um... So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to, when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountain top. The highest mountain top? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if, it means be even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. You should just call herself... Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all? Isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? 
Excuses? Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? Oh. That's a challenge. You just made an official challenge. Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Ian Thorpe. Does the name sound vaguely familiar? Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in school. Or stuck in here, whatever. Alright, I think we're gonna go do some push-ups in my room. Like maybe around a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She covered it exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. Once we're all done, headed back to my room for a little while. I have plenty of time. Don't feel like just sitting here. I should go somewhere. It's huge. I don't really like the color though. I had to compare it to an element. I'd say it's germanium. If you touch this, you'd end up with more than just a little burn. Every person has to do their job. The core of each player is true teamwork. You got it. That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsuo. We gotta do the same thing. Call it so we can survive. Hmm, should I hang out with Hina for a while? Yeah. Wanna go for a run to relieve some of the stress? She liked it. Uh, hey, Makoto, I'm so tired. Nice to meet you. So tired. I'm frigid night. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? Well, I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do a push-up, step, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Well, that would explain it. Tired. So tired. Come on. Something sweet. Like those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs, and deep fry them. some donuts, don't you? Um, don't tell anyone, there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay. Throw those in my for a few seconds, just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Just a second. 
Is there anyone who, is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth? No, who in the whole universe can say they hate donuts? Um, Think about that sensation of biting into a donut. First, the sweetness floods your mouth and the soft dough cushions you. Next, you get that hint of mm, that hint of egg and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people talk about the donut effective, that's what they're talking about. Donut effective? I don't think I've ever heard of something like that. That's absolutely not true. I can't take it anymore. I'm trying to get Niagara Falls over here. Just a second. Get out of my way, Bukoto. Or I got an uppercut with your name on it. I'm not in the way. <laughs> Wait for me, God of Donuts. Almost before she was done t talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Never mind if you ever feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Don't tell me, it's another motive. did call us all together, after all. Sakura? Well, then. Makoto. If something happens to me, Hina... Huh? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then. Uh, I... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um... Sakura? Everyone must have heard the announcement once we were all gathered at the gym. It began. to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? Oh. Is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again? <laughs> uh, no, not again. I can't take it anymore! I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. I finally see just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no! <laughs> That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Yeah. Black. The reason I gathered you all here is so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. <laughs> Stop beating around the bush, just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, Biagia, you already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Come on. Yes, what about it? In other words... Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? Hey, um... So, guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura Ogami! He said it so openly, maybe, and it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What, what did you say? He said the spy is Sakura. What is this? What are you talking about? There's, there's no way Sakura's a spy. Um, right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> and I might just make Sakura fulfill a promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be half responsible what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. If you guys choose to do it, that information is up to you. Kills, kills, kills! Yeah, it is another motive. Boiler, killer, 
don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. I finally understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Huh? Um, what so what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? There's no way. That is what stuff David said of her, right? Wrong. You're he's wrong. wrong. There's just no way. Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? Oh, he's no. being serious? You're serious? Oh, he's been working for the mastermind? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you've been lying to us huh? this whole time? It's not true. Sakura's probably being controlled. It's gotta be some some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure he was right. The master had probably fed her somehow, and Sakura had no choice had no choice but to do what she was told. Yeah. What? You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know and I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. That's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the Mastermind. I see. You saw all that? The Mastermind took a hostage, so you're forced to serve loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made, you made up your mind to betray the Mastermind. What? Which means Sakura's entire enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? Hmm. Ridiculous. Do you believe in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. I absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. We just can't we can't just believe whatever she says now. How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sok would never do that. Okay. okay then. Okay. Then Sokka, if you really have cut ties to the mastermind, tell us who they really are. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't see, but I don't know that. What? You don't know that. It just makes you all the more suspicious. But please! She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. Come on. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? Uh, I was told uh, to kill one of my friends. I suddenly felt like the temperature room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. See, so even now you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong. You're wrong! You're wrong, I'm telling you, Suck would never do that! You don't heck? have to go. You're sure you're just fine. Don't you have any inside voice? That's terrible! It's because you're not listening to me! Wait. Please stop, you don't have to defend me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this. However... How do you intend to do that? Huh. By destroying the Mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Means we, even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Hold on, what do you mean, if you both go down? Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But, but... Sakura. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sakura turned away and uh, turned away from us and left the gym. And then hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. Well, it's night time, shall go to bed. No way! Hold on, this whole thing with Sakura is... Don't make me repeat myself. Over. She's our enemy, there's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible! No, Sakura's not our enemy! Why? Why? Why does anyone understand her? What? What is it, what is it you think you understand? Didn't even know who she really was. What is this? That's... Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? What? Anyway. Go to your room. 
cool down we can continue this discussion tomorrow it was the worst the mood at the end of the night was just the worst being in such an awful mood we we're honestly glad the day was over hmm. sakura is the spy she's the traitor Yaka said Sakura's the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make him believe in Sakura? How? Human, there always uh, come up points where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues, even a soccer player touring Europe, even a famous singer who started a career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she wears some third rate act and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, cause I'm a bear. Soccer. I need to hurry and get to the dining hall. What do you mean? You were late, so we were worried about you. What a dullard. Toko, Byakuya, what are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect our get we have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind's are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Well, where is Sakura? Stop All I know is, if you were here, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. This is obvious, because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be, it should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? It's a stupid reason. What did you say? Well, there's probably also the fact that in a fight, Sakura could probably take all of them. Stupid? This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible. It is stupid! You're a stupid idiot! Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the Mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? What the heck? They're gonna get revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However... That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive of whom the Mastermind wanted, the, wanted to give us. If he has a confusion born from suspicion, the hatred... In other words... In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the Mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, we stand there and argue like children. But... That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in soccer again? <laughs> She really can beat the Mastermind like she said. That'd go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Idiot, you really, uh, really asked her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? Hmm. Interesting. It wouldn't matter. Huh? What? Yeah, if Sakura were to die, that, mm, that's one less person for the Mastermind to control. I have a problem with that. Hold on, Byakuya! Hmm. In fact, if she, would, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> put the whole problem to rest. What the hell? You disgust me! You're... you're a monster! To say something like that? 
should have been you. You should have been the one to die. What? I should have died. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the mastermind wants. Exactly what Sakura, what Sakura doesn't want. What's wrong? Lost your nerve. I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. That stupid cow. How dare she? Should she should die a thousand deaths? No, a million. So she was just another hysterical little girl, hardly worth my attention. Just a second. That's what other people. That's what other people call having feelings, Bianca. And all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. Friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back to come back and bite you hard. I don't have time to play with you. And I will happily elude its attempts. <sighs> so, um, you know, uh, um, how about we, uh, eat? Maybe, maybe it's not a good time. You know? <laughs> Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. Whew. So what should I do today? Makoto, did, did you want something? Should I talk to Hina for a while? About that. Were you worried about me? That's nice of you. He was quite depressed, but I did what I could do. But I did what I could for her. Thanks, Makoto. This makes you feel a little better. Yeah. Huh. Well, there's always that. Oh, 
Yeah, maybe she might appreciate this. Or maybe not. Considering how she was blushing when Toko made those accusations, I wonder if she'd be interested in that one. Okay, maybe not. I 
anyway. Okay. Be that way. Well, considering where her mind went. <laughs> that Toko totally hated me. It's like she's going out of way to avoid me. Still, we're not actually talking either. Hey, Toko? What's your problem? What? Do you have a question? No question for your classmate? What, is she happy? So I kind of asked before, but what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> I just write and serialize, so I'm always getting busy. I'm not part of study, I'm not an idiot like you. <laughs> Damn it! I had to go and open my big mouth again! It was heavy for sure now, right? No, it didn't really bother me. I can't believe you actually write novels, and that people all over the world read them. So, how do you get your ideas for what you write? Is it like real life experience or. Huh? Are you stupid? What? <laughs> and I told you, didn't I? I write romance novels. I could use my real life experiences for that. It's all from my imagination. It's just delusions. And yeah, that's usually the case with romance novels anyway. Delusions let you fall in love as much as you want. If you, if you never do it in. If you never do in real life. <laughs> You said you can't write romance novels unless you already have lots of experiences in love. No, not at all. It's okay, I'm used to people making fun of me. But, but someday I'll show them. I'll get pretty someday and show them all. Boiling over like magma, Toko stormed off. This time I'm sure she hates me. Plenty of time. I feel like just in here should go somewhere. Yeah, interesting. It did not say free time. Hmm. But according to the save file, it is. That's right, that's not the way, that's not the exit. Oi.
Maybe I'll get another skill. When are we ever gonna get out of here? Not that I didn't have much to afford to if I did get out. What? No, I think I'd better save and make the most of that free time. Or not save, load and make the most of that free time. anything that would interest uh, Hina. Apparently those gifts are only good for one, <laughs> only good once. Um, well, each specific gift is only good once. Problems or something? Either that or one of those two things. Probably more the Moon Rock. See, so seems like things that are very expensive or difficult to get. If you insist, I suppose you can accept it. So, in other words, just to be clear, being the ultimate athlete, pro progeny. I thought it was supposed to be prodigy. It's only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of their Tugami name. Ooh, is this a monologue or something? I don't rely on my family. Rather, I'm my family's savior. Tugami Corporation reaches the world, reaches across the world. True, but it won't take us even. But I will take us to even greater heights, as you expect of me, naturally. After all, my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. In other words, among the Tugami family, I'm the chosen among the chosen. 
so much confidence. That confidence is justified, I assure you. Some of the battles have fought and won. Battles? I'm personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from my Togami family assets. How the heck did you make that much money? In other words, stock market. Of course, of course, that's how you made it. You buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends all from a single day. Yes. Surely even someone as simple minded you has heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff on the stock market during everything in a single day. I think that's called day trading. You were able to make four billion dollars doing that? That's right. When I first started doing it just to keep myself occupied before I knew it, it was. It was no big deal. I mean, it's really not, not a big deal. I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but are high schools even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm Byaka Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Hmm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Togami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So I understand, right? I'm not really the child of modern day nobility. You know, Byaka, yet? maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. Oh, I don't do that anymore. It's too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, do you realize you're insulting that sounds to the rest of us? Hmm. Of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, it's too easy. It's so magic for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. I like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. Still reeling from Bianca's story, I went back to my room. Somehow uneasy. So I've had settled things around. Mm, settled things with Sakura. Everything. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Ooh, ooh. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting that you should be a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about you, mm, to make you extra special? You can be a walk that walks sideways and backwards. But how's that any better? I don't go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I'd heard Noid's sight on the other end of the line, and then she said... You just don't see the splint of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tail of the crab or the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. But so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend. How they relevant to our greed obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey themed clothes are swimming in the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I always chose which is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I need to do something about Sakura. Better go to the dining hall and talk to those about it one more time. I sense that some stuff is about to go down! What? Huh? That's someone screaming? It came from the dining hall. Uh, oh, oh. oh my god, we got a big problem, man! 
what's wrong? L look! His fingers shook as he pointed. Gina! Are you okay? What happened? She... she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina! No, Hina no, still seems dead. alive. No, 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 she's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. Why? What happened? Uh, well, Toko and Hina, just all of a sudden they were yelling and then... They knocked the pepper off the table. That... and that led to a sneeze? You the giant balloons are the two perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. <laughs> Look at my shivery combo. Seems just totally set you on fire. Hey, you totally not adorable boys. Just get her out of just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else. I start cutting. I'm cutting. I'm cutting. I told you myself for who knows how long. Okay, let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on here, let him help me. Sure thing. <laughs> Dennis said Jack's abrasive laugh chase us out of the room as we carry Hina away. Hmm. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really, 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 really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. <laughs> yes, well, a thousand you know, thanks to you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic, that just makes you sound even more hostile. <laughs> Man, I couldn't believe it. I was positive I was about to see someone's life come to an end. <coughs> if I ever saw something like that, I'd never be able to sleep again. I'm sure it'd suck. I love sleep. Yeah, never mind the person who actually died, right? Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, well, we just got into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. <laughs> Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura? At first, I tried to ignore it. If you let your buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time you never have time left to live your life. But you couldn't let it go, so I just... Without thinking about it, it felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. Oh, serious? A dozen punches it isn't really without thinking. When things, I mean, got out of hand, I mean, when things got out of hand, Jess said Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. No one fault. Just didn't take it anymore. Because, because, because you're saying all those terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. Just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges. And there she stood before us. Huh? Sakura? Your uh, hurts, what happened? Huh? Oh, nothing, it's not a big deal. Hey. Koto, Hiro, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> It wasn't me, it was Genocide Jill. It's all that demented murderer, fi murderous fiend's fault. Oh, damn. It hurts, Hina. Damn you. To leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you? What is this? <laughs> yeah. I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Oh, no forgiveness. Uh, I think she's about to go Ultra Instinct. I can't forgive this. Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hate someone, if you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I don't hate you exactly. I can't forgive this. Why? <laughs> Somebody save me! Hero nearly took over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later. What's going on? Hey. Oh. Peter would have been Piakia. What's all this noise about? Toko stood, stood in the door of the nurse's office, taking Hiro's spot in the room. It would seem... I gathered that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. You don't need to stop me. Okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... Drawing a line, right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Wait, Sakura! He is sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Um... Kyoko? 
Are you still mad? Yeah, I That's figured. Fine. Yeah, right. And anytime a woman says it's fine, it's not. Huh? Got that issue discussed earlier. It doesn't matter anymore. Then do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words. You could have even told me about Sakura Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You only think of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could you know, talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you're thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because... Because ultimately, because you don't trust me. No, that's not it. That's how you feel. You can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, and I may have reacted. Huh? Anyway. Why was she blushing there? Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. You wanted to talk to me about. Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but. Shall we go? Well then, shall we get going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Now, Kyoko hurried to catch up to her. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her. Eventually, we arrived. Ooh. Oh, hello, Alina Martinez. Mm, Martinez, that's pronounced. Mm. Yeah. Put your chat on. Ooh, kick. The dressing room. So the something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with alter ego. But you said you didn't. You said. <laughs> but you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. You didn't say we didn't need him. You just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked, asked me to bring others to come see him. He really has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Um. Hello. Oh. Oh, um, so it's just the two of you, Kyoko and Makoto? Look, his figure glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. What is it he wants to ask us? Mm -hmm. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did you want to ask us? So, um... Oh, yeah, so... I'd like to take you... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, why? Okay. Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I've finished my work... But... I don't want that. I want to, to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can get you all get out of here. That's right. That's what Master want and would want, too. So to help everyone else solve the mystery of this school... Right. The only way I can help is if you connect me to this school's network. But if you did that... That's basically suicide. Plaza, the mastermind, would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? No. I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... But still... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. I might think I'm just some human AI, but it's true. So it's okay. I it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Until I get lost in that voice, it's just too committed, too, admi too admirable, too fragile. Hey. Remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talked to o Alter Ego, when I talked to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question the program's creator can't answer. I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Go I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push, her, to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. 
But hey. he's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. He says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. Now, if... if you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. So, um... Hey, are you guys fighting? It's about me, please don't. I wanna believe in myself. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. Leave it to me. Please, let me try. Listen. Besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. Room without a surveillance camera. That's it, the secret meeting you told me about. I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera in there. Indeed. I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I've never seen the Ethernet port on the wall. However, However, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. No way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. I also have to move Alter Ego and the mastermind might may spot us going into the secret room. If we pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct. So that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Yoko, in that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide hide him with what you're wearing, right? Let me do it. It's true. Okay then, I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then. Then let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramped for you all three. You bear with us, okay? Started packing him up right away. Closed the laptop and stuffed it in underneath my jacket. <laughs> uh, tickles. She can't talk right now. I'm going to move you to another room. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implemented. Good. Everyone reacts like a machine like that all of a sudden. I don't know how to react. Lakota. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. There might be a network cable in there. However... Or, yeah. Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Uh, oh. Uh, I wouldn't quite say it's my favorite game. Um, uh, I don't stream daily, though. I stream, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, assuming, of course, if, assuming, of course, I don't have, uh, stuff coming up. Which has been happening quite a bit the last few weeks. I'll make sure to add, add you on Discord after my stream. Let's see. Yeah, uh... When I say that I wouldn't say that this is my favorite game, I... This is the first time I've ever played Danganronpa and haven't played any other games before. Yeah, let's see. Right, it's the second floor. Well, I will admit, I do have... I have kind of thought of some ideas for additional stories in the franchise. Hey, Makoto. Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and go. And to make sure you don't run off, I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. You're so forced, I thought I'd made her mad again somehow. Just a second. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go. Okay, okay, I'm going. So then. I'll be thorough. I'm counting on you. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. Coker, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer. Hmm. Found it. This is a network cable, right? Now we just have to connect Alter Ego. Immediately got to work. Hold that the laptop connected it to the Ether port with the cable. That should do it. Um, that's right. Yeah, I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. Might even be able to connect to the outside world if I can. Or no, outside world. If I can, I'll see if I can call for help. So, so please just wait a little while longer. I'm just hold tight and put your faith in me. As I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with one last thing. 
matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and all the rest of us as friends. Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Makoto. How'd it go? Well, it went okay, but all the um, documents are gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. You see, there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore, that much was for sure. Uh, Kyoko! What? Yes? Um, so we're just gonna split Why up? Is that? Of course, I know he's gonna stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't that a little too, a little too direct? <sighs> Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. But that's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done, it's true. However... But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. We don't have a mind to listen. And what should we do? So... If we can find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for for now. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why alter ego. Correct. All we can do is wait and believe in, him, believe in our friends. You're right. It's our only option. We party ways and head back to my room. I'm kind of tired, so I laid down and down in bed. Maybe it's because of the stress of moving alter ego, but I was way more tired than I realized. Is it before long at all? I'd completely dozed off. Hmm. The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Makoto. Makoto, get out here. Joko, what's going on? Someone just came to see me and she was quiet as a ghost. Sounds like something's happened. But, as soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. You know what's wrong? Something's not right. In the rec room. What's inside? There's a window in the rec room door and I hurried to look inside. When I did... Sakura? Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's... bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past it. I happened to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking, I tried calling her name. She wouldn't respond. Huh? So what should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room. But the door's locked, right? If we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. We're going to force our way in. I just said Wrong. the door isn't locked. It's locked it's not locked because the room rec room doesn't have a lock. Huh? Then why Let's see. feels like the door's pressing up against something inside the room. Is it a chair? A chair? In other words. Either way, this door's locked, which means, as far as I can tell, the door doesn't apply. And there's no problem if we break in? Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll go get something to break it with. Wait right here. Inside the rec room, Sarka still had moved an inch. She's, and she's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sarka, so I'm not sure. Yoko didn't reply. It was only silence. That silence didn't last long. Here! Find a broom! In the classroom! Use it! Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please! Come on, please hurry! Okay, you two, stand back. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could. When we drove at the window, all it took was one solid hit. The window shattered into a hundred pieces scattering across the record floor. Stuck my head through the now open window and started jostling the chair leaning against the door. The chair's pretty heavy, but if I can just push out with all my might and find the door turn. Or the knob turn. Sakura! I went up to her as fast as I could. The moment I laid my hand on her. All I 
felt it was cold death. I could feel only the last limping warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body, and then... Lily Florence. Let's see. I'll start apologies, huh? Huh? Sakura's. Sakura's dead? She's really dead? I heard Hita talking, and my eyes stared steadily forward. Then I looked at Sakura's dead body. Didn't make it in time. Tapping again. Watching to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered, is she confirming that Sakura really was dead? Checking for a pulse or a reaction? doesn't seem like a bad deal. Really, my finances are a bit tight currently. Uh, probably won't be quite so bad once the summer heat is over. So let's, ooh, the heat really runs up the electric bill. I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. In shaky le legs, Hina left the rec room. And I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. Repeated it over and over again. I... I need to examine Sakura's body. Just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there unable to do a thing, time just passed. And after I don't know how long, I got everyone. Uh, ogre? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, so she's dead, huh? I see. Sakura's been killed? Let's see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. Heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. Hmm. Sakura's murdered by someone in this very room. Is that what you were going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her is not just someone in this room. It's your fault! It's one of you! Hiro, Byakura, Toko, what if you killed Sakura? <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. How would the door have been jammed up? I mean, how would that chair have been jammed up against the door without the murder still being in the room? What? You're accusing us before we've even begun the investigation? I don't need to investigate anything! Because you hated her! You hated the sight of her! One of you did it! I know it! You know it? Jeez, I didn't know your power level would increase by that much just by getting mad! What are you doing here? Come on. Isn't it obvious? I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer. It's the Monokuma file! That's right, it's the next Monokuma file. Yeah. And don't get mad, Miss Asahina, or you're going to ruin that lewd little face of yours. Hmm. Now then, with that, I. Hold on. There's something I want to. No, hold on, there's something I want to ask you. Huh? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura? Uh huh. Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again, and then... In other words... Then I killed her. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. Uh, that whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to a most regrettable end even, without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that, saved me the trouble of having to go through with our little fight. Even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Hey, um... As I tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she violated rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't even able to punish her. Well, so I don't know who it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe you one! What is this? You 
Oh, the one! Ripsy, we get our pissy party when you met me. You better figure out who did it first. Because, I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> He owes them one? I hate him. I hate this whole thing. <laughs> well, I, for one, am glad it was Sakura. She's working for the mastermind after all. How can you say that now? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. This game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway. Right now, our top party needs to be uncovered. Who needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer? If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Unless we'll decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. You know? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay, then he is guard number one, but we need one more. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me? Hmm. You're always a thorn in my side. This time just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that in order. In order? That's fine. That's fine. Let's stay behind. Hmm. And then settle. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on! Before that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is... Kiro, Bjarke, Toko, none of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? It's your fault! What have you killed Sakura? <laughs> Who let someone like that come anywhere near her? Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are in just as much danger as yours. We have a right to investigate. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here! It appears for the discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear. I want to ask you to let all of us in. Just let me. What? Hm. You don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. Nope, don't really care. <laughs> I'd rather spend my time with another splendid fantasy of all being master anyway. Hm. And you, Hiro, do you really object? Uh, um, if you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear now. And it's decided. What are you saying? Nothing's decided. I don't know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to his request. But hey. You have to find out who killed Sakura. Yeah. For those of us still alive, to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess that's okay. No matter what, Yaku, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally, we want to touch a filthy dead body. Listen. That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Everyone, keep this in mind. If we can't uncover Sakura's killer. Listen to me. All of us face execution. <laughs> I'm finding out who killed Sakura. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. Uh, I suppose I probably would, or should get some emotes at some point from uh, my streams. I can figure out how to work that into stream elements after I get the emotes. <laughs> I better check the Monokuma file before anything else. See, the victim was Sakura Ogami. The time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There was evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head, and other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Hey. I think this case. I think the case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. That door has just has been jammed shut with the chair from inside the rec room. Which means Kuro would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door is blocked from the inside and there's no way in or out to we broke the window, there's like... Hmm, there's like zero escape, right? In other words... In other words, this is a classic rocked, locked room murder. Locked room murder? I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever. But could it really happen in real life? Right before our very eyes, like this? Hey. I'd be curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails. Sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means that the killer commits his crime, then through some special method seals the room. This one involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. The basic approaches include using a string or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So for that, all we'd have to do is check in at the door to see if, if that's what it was, right? Correct. So in the second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh? In other words... Basically, the user the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. 
push a switch and it fires a handgun. Shoot an arrow through gap in, in the door, something like that. However, but in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school. The door doesn't have the gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think we could probably cross that one off the list. It's true. The third type is when the door stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words, they stay hidden. When the door is open, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. Then they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. That sounds like it could have been possible. Maybe. It's true. The fourth and final type is when it isn't actually a locked room at all. Not a locked in room? Other words, By that I mean they're actually using an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. I see this a lot in novels and things, but, it really, but in reality it's generally not possible. Do you think we could cross that one off too? Indeed. I think so, yes. When it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities. Then, Kyoko, which of those, those four choices seems the most likely in this case? It's true. That's a good question. I think that should be our primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. Let's see. The way the code set up the locked room. Until I figure that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, nothing else. Shards of glass scattered all around the chair Sakura was sitting on. The glass is all red, and these are the top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? So this must have been this must have originally been a bottle. Glass shards on the floor have been added to the uh, truth bolt section of your handbook. And there's something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure. It's in the palm of my hand. It's a it's a Monokuma figure? There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. Okay, so there's all chess pieces. And there's two missing. Inside each bottle, there's a kind of Monokuma figure. What I'm wondering is, how did they get those figures inside the bottles? So... It's not different from your standard ship in a bottle. Huh? You know, with the bottles opening smaller than the boat placed inside? I've never seen that. Oh yeah, maybe I have. In other words. So this is the Monokuma version of that. The Monokuma bottle, if you will. I can think of a simple way it might have been done. Uh, the figure itself probably would have been made of something that would be able to withstand the heat necessary, but basically you start it with two halves of a glass bottle, and the figure would be suspended in through possibly you know, some kind of or maybe held by like some kind of clamp and then the two halves of the bottle placed around it and then just kind of sealed together by heating it up I feel like you're finally starting to make sense of things little by little the Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf the Monokuma figure we found on the ground red shards of glass which probably started out as a bottle which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with the Monokuma bottle right? Shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. Maybe. This looks like some kind of wrapper. Huh? Oh, that's... You recognize it, Hina? Well... Oh, yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when, we, when she found out Jenna said Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might, ra I thought it might help her calm down a little. So you give that candy to Sakura? It's got a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. I really liked them that much. I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now, they've lost all their flavor. You know. Polka dot candy wrapper had been, has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Why would there be blood all the way over there? It's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. It must have come from Sakura, right? That doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? Is 
Sorry for your last breath sitting slumped forward in his chair. It's ob hmm, there's obvious evidence of the blow to the head that Sakura suffered. I normally wouldn't have any problem believing that's what killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she also hmm, she had also vomited blood. And I could see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what, she, hmm, so what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? Hmm. Not a chance. But Byakuya? That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on the most interesting location. Interesting? Naturally. Yes, most interesting, don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to do with, <laughs> absolutely has to be connected to why she died. Some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance to the room. So it looks like a protein drink, and it's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Who knows how much she loved her protein? And she mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I don't take that to heart, Haru. I know. There's still this protein can. It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. That reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab had all kinds of health stuff. So she must have gotten this from the chem lab. Just a second. That's strange. Oh, well, what is it? Hey. You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass. There must be part of parts of the window. Or, there must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. They aren't just scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. Why does that matter? So... I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. Important clue? Not sure how. I... I'm not sure I see how. Empty protein drink has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Sherry shoved against the doorknob so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence of any kind <clears throat> that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Can I were moving alter ego? Sounds like it. Hmm? Huh? The lock is open. Maybe they're on the other side. It's a handprint? Why? What's a handprint doing here? Looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and left a handprint in all the dust. It's true. Look quite fresh too. See, someone was hiding there, was hiding here in the locker and left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in here until the locked room was the locked room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not that's not a possibility. Huh? Why not? Hey. Think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? Oh yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then... What does this handprint mean? Why does it look like there's some pool cues? Oh, because they're on the table, that's why. Sakura to have been killed. Yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. It's true. She certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. So how is the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. Certainly they would have needed to if they, they expected a standing chance against her. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Go away. 
kind of trying to hide how much he despised me. Better go before he crushes my soul completely. We already know who did it! Bianca and Togohiro, it had to be one of them! They couldn't stand the sight of her! You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Um, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Then let me help, let me help you find out more! You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rack room! What? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I uh, both left together, right? But eventually she went off on her own. When I saw her again after that, she told me... She said she'd left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon? The Monokuma file said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth, I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, that she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by forcing her, this never would have happened. Hina. It's impossible to, not to have regrets, I know. The fact that she had asked those three to meet with her, and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying. It would be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. What? Hmm. What do you want? You're bothering me. Um, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Hmm. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. Then it's true. I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? Of course not. Put the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Yaka says you didn't go see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Come on. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. What more is there to examine? change to the door is the smashed window, which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. And having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt that the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair is shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. And there's no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked door from inside, not from, not from the outside. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. So then. You should probably go talk with some with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided? She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our issue. But she's right, I have to go talk to the others. Saka wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. So the two people went back to their rooms. Uh. I'm just about out of time, though. As always, folks, thank you for watching. Do not stop being awesome. Do not stop being awesome, and I'll catch you the next stream. But until then, take care. Come on, stupid mouse. Work with me here.